hearings are set up by the government of india to protect consumer rights wherein unsatisfied consumers can file a case in consumer court against the seller on the grounds of harassment or deliverance of flawed goods or services here is a complete guide on how to file a case in a consumer court in india a consumer court is a court established under the consumer protection act 1986 to redress and adjudicate disputes in india these courts are established at three levels ie district state and national levels according to the law a dispute is filed in these forums depending on the monetary limit ie each court has a valuation fixed by law Consumers are the backbone of an economy owing to their purchasing capacity of goods and services. Ideally, the goods and services must be of a certain quality and not be defective or deficient in nature. However, there are multiple situations wherein the consumer is a victim of deficient service or substandard goods. To remediate the consumer and provide for a redressal mechanism, the Consumer Protection Act 1986 came into force. Consumer courts have proven to be the most effective way to provide a remedy to consumers and address their grievances. Filing a complaint is very easy and cost-effective, unlike other forms of litigation. The territorial jurisdiction also plays a role while deciding which district consumer forum one can file the complaint along with the pecuniary jurisdiction. As in Delhi, it depends on the location of the person's business, cause of action and residence and over to that, it should also take into account the said location under which police station jurisdiction the cause of action arose before filing the case in the concerned district consumer forum. A complaint can be made in the consumer court by a person as a consumer if he, she fulfills the following conditions. The person has purchased goods or availed some services in exchange for some value, i.e. he, she has paid money. The person must have bought the goods for personal use, and not for resale or commercial purposes. Voluntary Consumer Association Any registered association under the Companies Act, 1956, or under any other law the central or the state government one or more consumers who have the same interest in cases of death of a consumer his legal heir or representative a complaint can be filed by the consumer or his legal heir or representative or voluntary consumer association if any of the grounds are satisfied in his case the statutory period of 2 years from the date of cause of action has not lapsed The complaint must have the legal capacity to file the complaint i.e. should be sane, solvent and major. If you fall within the ambit of the definition of a consumer, you need to identify the ground under which you can file the complaint. A complaint here means any allegation made by the complainant in written form. Grounds for filing a complaint are adoption of unfair trade practice or a restrictive trade practice by the service provider. defective goods whether already bought are agreed to be bought by the complainant deficiency in services whether hired or availed are agreed to be hired or availed overcharging of goods or services in excess of the price that may have been fixed by law or displayed on the packaging of goods or the price list exhibited as so agreed between the parties selling or offering to sell hazardous goods or services which pose a threat to life and safety when used or availed provided the trader could know that the goods or services are hazardous by due diligence the different consumer disputes redressal agencies responsible for consumer protection are once the grounds are established the next step is to estimate the pecuniary limit for the complaint Under the Consumer Protection Act there exists a three-tier redressal forum. Complaints are filed in these forums in accordance with the pecuniary limit as fixed by the law. District Consumer Disputes Redressal Forum DCDRF established in each district it comprises of 3 members each. If the value of the claim is up to 1 crore then An appeal may be filed from the order of DCDRF in State Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission. State Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission (SCDRC) established in every state, the SCDRC can entertain original as well as appellate complaints. If the value of the claim is between 1 crore to 10 crore, 
An appeal may be filed from the order of SCDRC to the National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission. National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission NCDRC, located in New Delhi, it is the highest forum in the three-tier redressal system under the Consumer Protection Act. The pecuniary jurisdiction lies if the value of the claim exceeds 10 crore. It is also authorized to hear appeals from SCDRC. Further, an appeal from the order of NCDRC lies to the Supreme Court. It is pertinent to note that an amendment has been passed and published in the Gazette in 2019 which enhances the pecuniary limit of jurisdiction for the forums. However, the Act is still not in force. The amendment has increased the pecuniary jurisdiction of district forum to 1 crore, the SCDRC to 10 crores and that of NCDRC to 100 crores. With the boost in economy and the various services being offered on both online and offline platforms, there was a dire need to regulate consumer service provider relationships and to address the grievances for maintenance of a harmonious relationship. That is where consumer courts play a major role and provide for a grievance redressal platform. The procedure to file a complaint in the consumer court is first a notice to be sent by the aggrieved party to the service provider who provided the goods or the services. The notice communicates the intention of the complainer to resort to litigation and informs him about the defects in the goods or the deficiency in the service or any unfair practice. The notice is also an attempt to settle the complaint without approaching the forum i.e. if the service provider is willing to offer compensation or any other remedy. If the service provider is not willing to offer compensation or any other remedy, the next step is to file a formal complaint under the Consumer Protection Act, 1986. The filing of the complaint does not necessarily require a lawyer. The complaint can be filed by the aggrieved person. The following details must be specified in the complaint and attach relevant documents, copies of material evidence and relevant documents that support your case in consumer court are important. These documents include a copy of the bill, receipt of delivery, packaging of a product, a record of online booking of the goods bought warranty, Guarantee certificates a copy of the written complaint and notice sent to the manufacturer, seller choose the appropriate forum for filing the complaint in accordance with the pecuniary jurisdiction which is estimated in reference to the total value of goods and services bought or availed and the amount of compensation sought. A prescribed fee is required to be paid along with the complaint filed depending on the forum. The court fee depends upon the value of goods bought and the amount of compensation sought. The person who wants to file a case in the consumer court is also required to submit an affidavit in the court. The affidavit must state that the facts presented and statements made by the consumer are true to their knowledge. The complainant can make the complaint on a plain paper, which is then notarized and can be filed in person or through an authorized agent. The court fee is to be submitted through a demand draft made out to the President, Consumer Disputes Redressal Forum, name of, district. The complainant may either file an original complaint provided it falls within the pecuniary jurisdiction limit provided by law or file an appeal from the order of the district forum within 30 days of the order being passed. Dot. The consumer can either file a complaint directly, if it is within the pecuniary jurisdiction or file an appeal from the order of SCDRC within 30 days of the passing of the order. The court fees for filing a complaint in NCDRC is 5,000 rupees and the demand draft is to be made in the name of the Registrar, National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission. Further, there is no fee for filing an appeal before the state or national commission. You can approach the Supreme Court, against the orders of the NCDRC within a period of 30 days of the passing of the order.
refund of the price paid by the consumer while purchasing the product and additional compensation for damages suffered if any and cost of litigation, if claimed. Removal of defects i.e. if the consumer forum concludes after conducting proper tests that there exist material defects, it may pass an order to cure or remove those defects. Replacement of goods by the service provider if feasible. Compensation may be awarded to the complainant if it has been proved that physical, mental or any other loss or damage was suffered owing to the usage of the goods or availing of the services. Imposing a ban on the sale of hazardous goods and their withdrawal from the market. An order for removal of deficiency in service if feasible. An order for discontinuance of unfair, restrictive trade practice in cases where the cause of action was such practice. The authority is empowered to impose a complete or conditional ban on the aforementioned practices which may be unfair or restrictive in nature. Payment of the adequate cost or the cost of litigation if claimed by the complainant. A consumer complaint should be filed within two years from the date on which the cause of action or deficiency in service or defect in goods arises. However, the law allows the consumer to file a complaint after the statutory period of two years if the district forum is satisfied that the complainant has sufficient reasons for not filing the complaint within the statutory period. The delay can be condoned if it is reasonable and can be accounted for. The law allows the complainant and the accused to file an appeal against the order of the forum at all three levels to ensure that there is no injustice. The hierarchical order for filing an appeal is, District Forum, State Forum, National Forum, Supreme Court thus, under the Consumer Protection Act protection has been extended to the consumers to protect them against unscrupulous traders or sellers and to safeguard their basic rights. It provides protection, a mechanism to settle disputes and the establishment of forums exclusively for consumer protection cases. If you think that this video is beneficial for community then please share, like, subscribe will motivate us to bring more videos and also do not forget to comment so that others can be benefited too. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot of watching the video please feel free to give suggestion, send motivational videos for the of benefit society, raise your voice by making and sending plays, stories etc let us create awareness together. Please feel free to call us if you require any help, you can also be a part of our team or channel as a member or associate please call us our contact phone no at 9818003999 or on another phone no at 9540003999 or email at info.consumertimes at gmail.com visit our website www.consumertimes.in please like this video please like share and subscribe our channel will motivate our team to work hard thank you